All right guys, today we're gonna do a little military arm style uh, gauntlet test with the latest gun that I own. This right here is a police trade-in Glock 22. Um, hopefully you guys can see, I mean, all things considered, it's actually in really good shape. You know, just a little bit of scuffs here and there, the kind of things that you see from someone who's wearing it in a holster every day. So anyways, um, figured, since this is kind of my new beater gun, that this would be what we subjected to this test. I have, of course, the water, sand, dirt, which I'm using uh, potting soil, and mud using the same potting soil. Uh, you guys probably noticed the color of these bullets. I don't buy factory ammo, at least not in pistol calibers, so I'm not going to do it for this test. I'm using 180 grain Acme coated bullet and uh, 4.5 grains of tight group which gives me an average velocity of 950 feet per second and 171 power factor for your USPSA guys. So major power factor. Um, I have some targets down here that I'll be shooting at. Uh, let's get to shooting, but I did just wanna go over a couple small things. I only have two magazines. Uh, so I will be reloading these while the video is running just to uh, make sure you guys don't see anything weird going on. I've shot this gun 50 rounds this morning over the chronograph, uh, testing some different loads. I did just give it a quick extra lube and a bore, um, a bore snake to make sure that uh, everything is consistent and freshly. So, all right, let's get to it. So uh, first we're gonna do the elemental, elemental test, 10 rounds in water, sand, dirt, and mud, rinsing in between. Uh, again, I only have a couple mags, so uh, stick with me. Here we go. All right, it's loaded, put it in the water. Okay, bubbles are done coming up, 10 rounds. All right, locked back. Uh, you guys probably noticed I'm a lefty, so if the slide does not lock back, it's not because I'm touching my thumbs. All right. 10 more rounds, sand, push it flush on each side. Okay, flip it over, flush again. Look at that guys, that's a lot of sand. Uh, the water, the wet water made this kind of stick. So here we go. Woo. All right, I have a dead trigger. Um, the gun's not all the way in battery. Doesn't want to go, so I'm going to pull around. Still not in battery. All right, again. Dead trigger. All right, the gun resumed function. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the rounds that I ejected out, uh, put them back in, okay. Um, I'm only counting that as one failure because it was one round that wouldn't work and uh, I was able to clear it, but I needed to clear the gun. So I'm counting that as one failure. Okay, gun's hot again. All right, let's finish out the Mac. Here we go. All right, and it locked open. All right, we're gonna rinse the gun out here. Rinse my mags. All right, guys, quick load sash here. Give me just a minute. Thank God for the up Lula, or else you guys would really be having fits waiting for me. All right. Okay, there's 10 in that one. Second mag here.
All right. There we go. Especially slow when I'm on camera. I've right, got two mags with 10 rounds. Gun has been rinsed. Here we go. There it is. To the dirt. In, push it flush. In, push it flush. See, we were nice and dirty. Here we go. Lock back, no problem. Rinse it out again. A little too much water here, I'm gonna pour some out. There we go. All right. I always wondered why Mac wore uh, all the protective gear. I figured it can't be that bad. Um, when you're on this side of it, it gets you. So here we go. 10 rounds uh, to the mud. In, push it flush. In, push it flush. All right, looks actually a lot like the dirt because uh, of the fact that it was wet before the dirt and the mud has water in it, pretty similar. Here we go. All right, so hopefully you guys saw that. Uh, what happened there was um, the trigger didn't feel like I was pulling off a round. I pulled it plenty hard to shoot the round. Did it a couple more times, the round went off. Uh, looked like it startled me, to be honest, um, but that is a safe direction. It's the way I've been shooting, so. All right, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's finish the Mac. And it locked open. All right, guys, that's it for the elemental test. Um, let's talk for a quick second about kind of how that went. So, um, I'm looking at that as really two failures. Um, you guys be the judge. Uh, the first one was we went into the sand. Um, as you know from Tim's test, that is where the um, uh, where it seems like the Glocks have the most trouble is the sand. This is really dry sand. I have it nice and full. It's play sand actually from Home Depot. And anyways, um, it shot the first round, didn't want to go back into battery. Uh, tried to cycle it, didn't want to shoot the round again. So what I did is I took the mag out of the gun, took the round out of the chamber, and uh, then went ahead, cycled it a couple times, put it back in, it went fine. So I'm calling that one. So the second one was in the mud, and what happened was it fired a round or two, I think, and then uh, it acted like the trigger wasn't working. I have a feeling, based on watching Max tests, that there might have been debris behind the trigger, and that's why it wasn't going all the way back, because I was pulling it hard enough. Uh, I'll have to look at the video and see if that's true. But, uh, at any rate, um, the round did go off in that direction where, you know, where it's safe, but um, uh, just, just didn't, it didn't respond like I expected it to, basically. Uh, it did finish out the mag, so definitely a failure to fire and, uh, and a, a dead trigger or something behind the trigger. Um, and then we finished out the mag. So I'm calling that two, um, two malfunctions in the elemental test. Uh, all right guys we're back gauntlet test glock 22 um i did just rinse it out in the water a couple times i cycled it just like what mac's been doing um i realize you guys can't barely see the water anyway so you'll take my word for it hopefully um it then does not sound gritty at all so uh let's go ahead and run the gauntlet see if we have anything different than what happened with the elemental okay here we go 10 rounds in the water Wait a second, let the bubbles stop. All right, here we go. All right, that was just me shooting slow, mixing up the targets. I have a few over there and I was trying to do something fun. Okay, no water, directly into the sand. Um, should mention that in this case, we're doing the same thing where you push it both sides and on the gauntlet, you kind of throw some up over it. So a little different than elemental. Here we go. All right, push a flush. Other side, push a flush. Take a little bit of the sand, kind of just throw it over. I'm just rinsing my hands. Uh, the gun's still sitting in the sand. I'm gonna, after looking at this, I'm gonna be surprised if this works. Let's see.
All right, same result, out of battery. Um, no chance I'm pounding that home. I'll try to cycle the slide like I did last time, see if it goes into battery. If not, I'll do the same thing where I pull the mag, cycle it a couple times, and put the rounds back in. Let's see. Okay, ejected the rounds, still out of battery. See, bang, 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 nothing happening. We're gonna pull the mag. We're gonna take the round out of the chamber. Okay, uh, I'm taking these two rounds, one that dropped on the ground, the other that's in my hand here. And I'm putting it back in the mag. So we have now nine rounds left. Uh, this gun is now working, appears to be working. Mag, here we go. Did you guys see that flinch? <laughs> All right. There's a round in the chamber. It is fully in battery. Okay, I'm gonna do this slowly in case this gun goes off so you guys can see this. To me, this doesn't look feel like the trigger's going all the way back. It doesn't, right? I'm gonna push a little harder. I'm gonna see if I can get the gun to go off. If not, I'm gonna take the slide off and I'm gonna see if there's something in the trigger group that's causing this to be a problem. Okay, so squeeze a little harder first. Nothing. Rounds out of the chamber. I'm gonna put it back in the mag here. Okay. Not, not uh, resetting or even really firing. Okay, so um, you guys that know about Glocks know I gotta pull the trigger to uh, take the gun apart. So this is not working. I'm going to rinse it in the water in hopes that it clears the debris so I can pull the trigger. Okay, no rounds. By the way, for those of you keeping score, this fails this gun, right? This gun is, is not passing this test, <laughs> say the least. So, all right, still can't pull the trigger. Uh, this is disappointing because I brought all this stuff out here. I want to show you guys. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna stop the video. Uh, I'm gonna get the gun to work, and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys, and maybe see if we can run it through again if I can get the gun back working. So, see you guys in a few. All right, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you my thoughts. Um, we can run this after the fact just for fun. Run it through again, see see if we get the same result. Um, I was able to get the gun to resume function, right? I didn't even really take it apart. I mean, I, I took the slide off, but I didn't remove the pins or anything weird. Um, the trigger would not fire. So what I did is I put it in the water, cycle, 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 pull it out, try, 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 cycle, cycle, just played with that for uh, less than 30 seconds. And if I'm being totally honest, the trigger feels fine again. At first it felt a hair gritty, the reset feels, and I'm splitting hair here, here, guys, but the reset feels slower. To me, the reset feels a hair slower than what it's really like um, on a clean gun. I, I have no way of measuring that. It's, it's probably me just thinking that. I have my Glock 19, but I'm not gonna put it through this, at least not today. Um, so maybe I'll compare the two in a second here and, and just see if I really feel that way. It, it wouldn't slow you down if you were actually trying to fire this gun. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mag that I have. I think there's like eight or nine rounds in it. Uh, I'm going to rinse it so it's clean. I'm going, to, I'm going to put this back in the water here, just like that. And um, I'm just going to show you that the gun functions again. And then we'll decide if we want to put it back through. I haven't decided that yet. All right. Dirty mag. Rinse it out. Okay. Um, put my ears back on first. All right, I think we have eight or nine rounds. Uh, there's one in the tube, eight in the back, so nine rounds. Here we go.
Can't end on a last missed shot, right? I guess we're gonna run this through the gauntlet again. Uh, yeah, so the gun works. That's my, that was my point. Uh, just for fun, I already have the shit out here. I'm already disgusting. Uh, I'm gonna refill the mags, we're gonna run it again. We'll see if the same thing happens, so stay tuned. All right guys, we're back here for the second try at the gauntlet. Gun has already failed the test. Uh, it stopped beyond repair, at least immediate repair, where, you know, uh, stop recording, cleared the gun, whatever. So at this point, I'm gonna run it through the gauntlet a second time just for fun. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna put the sand last. And the reason I'm doing that is just to see how much debris and dirt it can get in it, um, save for sand before it stops working. Can it get through the rest without sand? Um, that's really what I'm trying to see. I live in California, Northern California, not near a beach. Um, so I am much more likely to get my gun dirty than I am sandy. Um, and if it does get sandy, it'd be dry and not with water. So that's another thing I want to show you guys here afterwards is if the sand is dry and the gun is dry, uh, does sand still stop the Glock? That'll be interesting to see. So, uh, okay, so I'm putting sand last. Uh, I'm loading up mags and we're going through it again. Here we go. All right, here we go. We put the sand last. We have water, dirt, mud, and then sand. 10 rounds. All right, you see, this thing's dirty, guys. There's no lube. I haven't, I haven't lubed the gun between any of these sessions. All right, it's in the water. Bubble, bubble, bubble. All right, here we go. Ten rounds, locked open, no problem. Next ten. All right, into the dirt. Push flush, push flush, take some dirt, throw it on top, gonna get it in there. Look at that ejection port, guys. This thing is, uh, I need to see what kind of dirt Mac uses because this seems um, worse. I, I, who knows? Here we go, 10 rounds. And again, we end on a miss. All right, I'm not gonna wash the gun, just washing my hands. Um, again, I'm sorry guys, I gotta reload mags here. So because Mac normally has fresh mags for each stage, I am going to rinse the mags because I don't think what mag was in the previous stage has an impact on how it should perform in the future stage. Who knows? There's one. Okay, I got two full mags, enough to do mud now, and then sand. The gun has not been rinsed since it's been in the dirt. All right, here we go to the mud. Push it flush, flip it over, push it flush, take some good mud, kind of throw it on top. All right, here's what my gun looks like. I'm going to uh, just get through the trigger guard here. All right, I just shook it once, that's all I did. Here we go. All right, you guys probably noticed the flinch again. Uh, sorry guys, doing the best I can here. Um, same thing, I pulled the trigger, it didn't go off. And this time, the second time I did, I released it a little further thinking maybe that was the problem. I'm almost certain now that the first time debris was behind the trigger. That's for sure what this felt like. Okay, um, fresh mag, gun has not been rinsed and we're going to the sand. Who knows, maybe because the gun's less wet and there's other debris on it, we don't get as much sand. Let's see. 
All right. Putting it in, push it flush. Throw some sand on top. I'm gonna give it just one shake because I see a lot of debris behind the trigger. I don't want that same problem to happen. One shake. All right, here we go. Same issue, guys. Let me pull the trigger. All right, so this is where you guys are all gonna call BS on me. I'm recording on my cell phone, and of course my video timed out right when we're getting to the juicy part about the gun malfunctioning. So um, it's been about five seconds, nothing else has happened. I haven't even tried to clear the gun. Still a dead trigger. Um, okay, I'm gonna drop the mag, take the round out. Now that's interesting. There's no round in there. I was just trying to see if I can see daylight. Uh, as a reloader, I'm always thinking about squibs. That did not feel like a squib. I, I seriously doubt it is. Um, but I'm gonna take a flashlight. And I'm gonna shine it down the bore and the bore is clear. So better safe than sorry. All right. The trigger has resumed function, but it is really, really, really gritty. So, eight rounds in the mag. Let's uh, see what happens here. I did realize there's one round on the ground. Whatever, gun already failed. All right, and it failed going into the feed ramp. Um, this gun needs to be cleaned, guys. I don't know that this is really that safe, so. We're done. The uh, trigger that time didn't reset until the second time. Weird. Okay. Let's just go over a couple final thoughts of things I haven't shared yet. This has been strange for me. I was almost certain that the 40 caliber um, would do better than the nine just in the sense of more energy. So I was thinking more slide velocity. I was thinking that there was a less of a chance that it would get stuck um, or, or not go back into battery, which is exactly what happened. Um, so in the elemental test, I think we did have the failure with mud, right? Um, in the gauntlet test, we had no real no failures with anything else. I mean, I guess we did have the same thing happen with mud. The difference for me that time was, all I did was pull the trigger again. And uh, there's plenty of guns that have second strike capability. A Glock, of course, is not one of them, but uh, that's what you do, right? Maybe you just pull the trigger again, see if, you know, if, if the gun works. So that was kind of the thought process there. Um, so disappointed by the way the Glock handled it uh, with the sand, but again, I don't really drop my gun in sand. Uh, this was kind of fun, to be honest. You get a little dirty, have some fun. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to clean the gun, wipe it down, clean it. Uh, I'm not going to full strip it, I'm just gonna detail strip it and I'm going to shoot some more rounds through it. And if I have more issues, I'll report them back. So hopefully this was fun. All right, see you guys. All right guys, back real quick to give you my final thoughts on the Glock 22. Um, first of all, it's 100% back to normal, it's super smooth. Uh, after we finished recording earlier today, um, I uh, just field stripped this gun and re-oiled it. And then I went ahead and uh, ran 120 rounds with not a single malfunction. Um, I consider this to be completely back to normal. If that turns out not to be the case, I'll let you guys know. A um, couple things I want to mention about this. First of all, today was my first day shooting it. I have not replaced any of the springs. Um, these are exactly as it came. And before I went to shoot today, I used the stock spring on my 34, which is the same as the 17 and the 22 and the 35. And I uh, uh, just wanted to see if the spring was weak on this gun, and it is not. Um, I didn't measure it with any kind of gauge. I just used a rough estimate. Um, so I don't believe spring tension. And I realize that's only one of the springs, but in general, the springs on this were very good. I don't believe spring tension played any play in this. I think it was just sand got into everything. Um, the other thing to mention about this, so I got this gun as a police trade-in um, just for fun. And this video is for entertainment purposes. I don't care that this didn't pass the test. This does not change whether I use this gun. This does not change the fact that I carry a Glock 19 every day. Um, I'm not concerned about that. Uh, I will probably 
try to put this in sand dry um, versus water to sand. I mentioned that in the video, I forgot to do it um, because I want to see how this would perform. Um, it's unlikely I'm going to drop it in sand after it's in water unless I guess if I'm at the beach, but then I'm in water, which was not a problem for the gun. It was just the sand sticking to it. Um, I may also play around with it in just dirt and mud because uh, it seemed to do okay in that and that was kind of fun. And again, this is just something I'm doing for entertainment. So um, hopefully that answers most of the questions you guys will have about this. I know I'm going to catch flack for using reloads. Um, sorry, but you know, my press is right there. Uh, you know, I'm going to reload. I'm not going to spend twice as much on factory ammo um, just to please some guys on the internet. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. 